I'd like to talk a little bit about beauty and uh, we have a model who's actually going to come up with what you described as one of your favorite pieces <coughs> and uh, I looked at it this week and I thought this is such a beautiful piece of art and even a style Luddite like myself can see that. So I asked Paul, why don't you just describe how you came about to create this and then tell us where you see beauty in this piece of art. Um, for me, I really try to choose a lot of themes to my collections. Um, the last few have been based on biblical accounts. Um, this particular spring collection was inspired by Mary Poppins Goes to New Delhi. So <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit of a departure. Um, but uh, there's a lot of, I mean, if you know the story and the theme behind the collection, and um, the media gets all this in pieces, we actually are branding a social concept as opposed to a visible brand. So throughout the process of the invitation to the program, to the show itself, it's all a bit of a puzzle so that when people come to the show, they know that they're going to be challenged by an idea that when they leave, they have the responsibility to act upon what they've learned. But with regards to, um, you know, uh, the question of beauty in this, I'll, I'll explain to you kind of some of the underlayers and maybe you can see some of the symbolism that's involved in this. But because Mary Poppins was a nanny, we tried to use these baby fine silk knits that sort of had this nanny-like quality. These were all made in England and the silks were all made in India. So even the fabrications related back to the theme. Um, but the initial um, inspiration was from the song Let's Go Fly a Kite. So we had them weave um, tiny little organza bows into all of the knit so that it actually looks like the kite bows off the strings. Um, and then as far as the India part, the silks from India we dip dyed because there's a festival in India called the Holy Festival where people walk the streets and they get dye, colored dyes thrown on them. And so we wanted this wash of color to kind of reflect, you know, part of the heritage of that, uh, of that city. So the other thing is uh, the Swarovski crystal belts. They're actually made, uh, they were custom designed for me. Um, from a company called Virgin Saints and Angels, which produces, these are all handmade, um, and they have Catholic uh, icons of saints and virgins, and we tried to parallel the difference between, or the similarities between Mary Poppins and Mother Teresa, because she was in India, and how they both stood to challenge people's ideas uh, about their priorities, they both were into a sense of community, um, service, and these kinds of things. So it's a lot deeper than just a collection. Hmm. And people who are buying this, um, like the buyers who come to see it, actually want all the information so that they can tell the story to their clients. All right, pause right there. Okay. All right, we watch a creator here, a guy who has the heart and the talent and the ability and the gifting to do this describe his creation and what hits me as he does that is there is a, an attention to detail and an intent and purposefulness about why he did what he did there is a, a craving to communicate something through this uh, outfit that he's put together and as I see Paul do that somebody who's made by God in our Christian stories understanding of life do that I see him reflecting the heart of God a God who doesn't do things randomly, does them on purpose, made every person in this place with intent and attention to detail. And when you start to think about those truths in terms of your identity, it just feeds your soul. And so Paul is essentially a co-creator with God in creating beautiful things that bring glory to God. We can look at fashion that way. Also strikes me, as you describe it, and I've seen it three times now, it's beautiful. And when you let yourself engage in the beauty, and I, I heard gasps on this side as I was standing when some of the long evening gowns were coming through, and some of the women were just, uh, and one guy was really into, <laughs> <laughs> my friend Simon, he's really into it, and uh, <laughs> he wears those dresses. They were, they were gasping at the beauty of uh, what was going on, and I thought, 
Is that something that God has built into us, this desire to experience beauty and to be awed by a color or a shape or a shadow or the way the light hits something? And ultimately, is that not a yearning to see the beauty of God and to know God more? Mm -hmm. So in a creator and in creations, we can meet the capital C creator. Profound truth and a different lens through which to look at the fashion industry. All right, thank you. What's your name? Brenna, thanks for your help with that. Awesome.